If you've clicked on this video, you're likely interested in the flexibility and work-life balance that a remote job in cybersecurity can provide. But how exactly do you navigate this? How exactly do you thrive and excel in your career in cybersecurity if you are always remote and no one really knows that you exist? Hi friends, I am Venetia, your cybersecurity bestie. In this video, I am going to share with you my strategies as a remote worker. I work remote most of the time. I have a lot of work on my plate. So there are multiple things that I do here that I aim to share with you in order to let you know how I thrive and how you can too. So first up in the video, we are going to cover a lot of things. So it's not just about finding the remote job or thriving in the remote job. It's even further kind of how do you adopt practical strategies to stay relevant in your work setup with your colleagues while you are remote so that you don't just become someone who's just there and you don't really exist in the company, but you, you're doing the work, right? Number one is probably the main thing here that made a clear difference for me, and it is structuring your day. Flexibility is great, but too much flexibility can lead to chaos. It's really important that you establish a daily routine, including regular work hours, taking break, having personal time, having a clear divide between personal life and work life can really help maintain a healthy balance in your life. I think Carl Newport says in the book Deep Work that work and life must be completely distinct. When your workday ends, shut it down completely. Studies also show that there is a clear mental health improvement between balance and boundaries between work and personal life. Next up, virtual collaboration. Now, even though you're working remotely, collaboration remains key. Make use of the communication tools that you have in your company, whether you're using Teams, Slack, Zoom, whichever one, but keep in touch with employees on a work side and on a personal side. Virtual collaboration can really help to boost productivity, at least it does for me. Staying in touch with people's personal progress also helps in that way. And that's something that's really important to me. Marissa Meyer said, no matter how great you are at your job, collaboration yields better results. Research shows remote workers who connect are at least 22% more productive. So best you get connecting. This has significantly helped for me. Next up, we have continuous learning. Now, the cybersecurity landscape is ever evolving. It's continually evolving. You need to keep learning. I always say this in every single video, you should not stop learning. Here you can really, you need to make use of online courses, webinars, YouTube, certifications to keep your skills sharp and to make sure that you're staying ahead of the curve. As Jim Ron said, formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. That's deep. Data has also confirmed that learning increases your earning potential. So even though you're sitting there remote, you can increase your earning potential by learning. Now, don't forget about self-care. Oh, I am so guilty of this. Regular exercise, eating well while you're working at home, sufficient sleep, mindfulness practices to get your mind out of that headspace of work, managing your stress, boosting your productivity. This all of that looking after yourself and maintaining those healthy habits and boundaries can really, really refuel you. I mean, already with the amount of work we have in cybersecurity, burnout is a real deal. I've experienced it numerous of times. I mean, burnout is not a foreign thing to me. So I really implore you, if there's one thing you take away from this video is that healthy habits, set those for yourself when you're working remotely. You cannot pour from an empty cup. That was said by Lisa Nichols. Your mindset matters and it's the lens through which you see and view challenges and opportunities. The next section is all about believing in yourself, which can really go out the window when you are sitting there remotely. Imposter syndrome is real, but you deserve to be here. You deserve to be in the industry. Continue to remind yourself of how far you've come, what your unique strengths are, how you keep growing and how capable you are. Here, I want to share a quote from Michelle Obama. Your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Research shows that encouraging women to trust their instincts grows confidence significantly. So do this for yourself, do this for a colleague, do this for someone that you see is struggling, give them good feedback, 
to increase their courage. All right, friends, that is it for this video. A little bit different, but adapting to your remote work lifestyle can be a challenge. These are the strategies that have worked for me and they have really equipped me to not just survive, but to thrive in a remote cybersecurity role. If you have found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs to hear it. Don't forget that to hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my future videos. I hope that you find your cybersecurity remote job and that you thrive in your cybersecurity remote job. And if you are struggling to get a job, you should definitely check out this video where I help you do just that. Catch you next time, friends. Bye.